There is no change in the current law with regard to heroin traffickers except this House version 213 puts a third tier, a third tier of trafficking called aggravated trafficking. Research shows if you can interrupt the supply, we've heard it before, to cut the head off the snake, you can make a difference. That that enforcement, that interdiction works. So at the level of a kilo or above is a Class B felony. That is a change in current law. Right now, we have three le two levels of trafficking. That would create a third. There is no change with one ex other exception. We are renaming a trafficker who traffics up to two grams, under two grams. Two grams or above is a Class C felony. Under that would be a D felony, and that would be called a peddler. We've talked with law enforcement. We have good research that refers to those folks as peddling to support a habit, to support their addiction. And members, I also want to clear up a misconception that I tried to clear up in, at the press conference earlier this week and in committee. When compared to our sister states, our surrounding states, we compare very favorably in terms of harsher sentences, stricter penalties, and really a harsher scheme to deal with trafficking. In particular, there's been much mention of what and how we compare to the state to our north in Ohio. And I showed a graph, and many members have seen this graph before, but I'll tell you right up front, there's one distinct distinction we haven't mentioned. In Ohio, the definition of trafficking is actually limited, much more so than our own definition. Our own definition is any transfer. That could be two young people at a party, not selling for commercial activity, but transferring the drug between them. In Ohio, it's limited to commercial activity, which means sale or preparation for sale. And again, in Kentucky, it's much more broad. An easier case is made for trafficking because it's any transfer. And in Ohio, a person trafficking under five grams actually qualifies for mandatory community supervision. And the sentences are much less. In Kentucky, just the two gram level, below that two gram level is a class D felony, punishable by up to five years. And there is no mandatory community supervision. There's, it's called a community control sanction in Ohio. The judge might not be allowed to imprison them at all. So I want to stress to the membership that when compared to Ohio, the idea that we're somehow less harsh on traffickers or possessory offenders, and in particular traffickers, is simply a myth. 